Jeffrey thinks he's a nice guy, but why aren't girls interested in him? He's so nice to them, he manipulatively compliments them all the time. Jeffrey is a nice guy. He's not nice, but he's a nice guy. That's a term used for weak men like Jeffrey who think that being nice to a girl will get him into her pants. Tough luck, Jeffrey. It takes more than that. Adonis. Adonis is a nice guy, but not with those quotes. He is a man who is nice, who is kind, who is generous. He's the tribe leader, the most successful one of all. But along with being nice, Adonis is dominant, masculine, and attractive. That's why women are interested in him. I took my brother's advice once with dating and texting a girl. There was a girl that I had a crush on for like months and months and months. And I'd been on a couple of dates with her. I never even had kissed her, bro. Three, four, five dates. I took her to like a nearby cafe and we got like some frozen drink and just kind of talk and everything. And I had like a major crush on her, even though I hadn't even kissed her once. And then I didn't speak to her for a while. You know, she started sort of like ignoring my requests to like meet up for dates and stuff. Months go by. I'm still kind of thinking about her, but also, you know, trying to move on and thinking about other girls. And I'm invited to this party at the university that I'm going to. And my brother gave gives me the idea that I should invite her. Now bear in mind that we hadn't spoke for like two, three, four months. With my brother's advice, this shitty ass advice, he tells me what to text her. And I text her the most like fruity blue pill shit of like, hey, like, you know, there's a party tonight and I only want to go with you. So if you'd really like to come with me, it'd be such a good time. And yeah, we could. So I sent her like this like cute ass little paragraph, bro. Like, oh, you should come with this party with me. And she literally replies, this has got to be a joke. That fucking hurt, but even then me and my brother think, okay, what, what, what more can we text her? And I text her more like nice shit. Like, you know, you, you've you always been in my mind and I, I miss you. Like we used to go on dates and it was so good. You're so cute and everything. And you're the only girl I'm interested in, bro. And she literally says, this is definitely one of your friends texting this, haha. Me and my brother look at each other with this sense of like, yeah, mission failed, we'll get him next time. And I'm pretty sure I ended up texting her like, yeah, my friend stole my phone, haha. <laughs> So this is what you do to avoid a situation like that. Don't be an asshole, but also don't be a nice guy. We don't want to be a nice guy. We don't want to be like overly nice for no reason, but also we don't want to go too extreme and be an asshole. We want to be somewhere around the middle. And this is where Adonis is at. Adonis is the ultimate male, the kind of man that we aspire to be. Now he isn't a nice guy. He isn't like one of those guys who slyly tries to be like nice to try and like, you know, attract a girl. He isn't overly nice, but he is a kind, loving, warm man. Now at the same time, of course, Adonis is not an asshole, but he has some traits of like disagreeableness. If he disagrees with a girl, he'll say it. He won't just agree with everything that she says. And we need to adopt this because too many young guys like yourself place girls on such a high pedestal that you kind of act like she can't do anything wrong. Like you view her so highly that even if you kind of know that she's maybe a bit of a loser, that, you know, she's not on self-improvement, that she just spends her time watching TV, scrolling on TikTok and watching Netflix, eating junk food. And we're like, oh, well, you know, she's a princess. We're like, no, she's not, bro. Now you shouldn't be insulting towards her or disrespectful because, you know, she's a girl. Some guys are like this, they're literally like disrespectful just to girls for no reason. But at the same time, you shouldn't be overly nice to her just because she's female. I'm gonna tell you the truth that not a lot of people say, and it's gonna sound kind of sexist, but honestly, bro, some women don't deserve your nice side. And honestly, some guys don't either. You might be thinking, but, but wait, Hamza, like I am actually a nice guy though. And you probably are, and that's a good thing. It's good to be a guy who's nice. It's good to be nice. Like nice is like a good personality trait. You know, so many guys say like, oh, I don't wanna be a nice guy. And I just think that they probably don't know what they're actually saying because I only hang around with nice people. If you're not nice, I wouldn't ever be friends with you. We want to be nice. Of course we do. We want to be nice, kind, warm to the people who are in our tribe, to our family, to our friends. But being a nice guy, like nice guy is kind of like a quote, like a term by itself these days. It doesn't just necessarily mean a guy who's nice. It means like this kind of guy who uses fake nicety to try and like attract a girl. And that's not attractive. It's the kind of guy who never wants to disagree with a girl because he's just trying to be nice. And you know, he's just overly like, he's just buying the things. It's just simpy and everything. It's not attractive. But to be a guy, a man who does have nice parts about him. Well, that's the best of both worlds. How do you stop being a nice guy? You kind of just need exposure to men who are like good with women and see how they navigate. If you watch a movie of James Bond, you wouldn't think, oh, he's a nice guy. You might think like, oh yeah, he's professional. He's attractive. He's sexy. He's charming, but he's not a nice guy. He's not overly nice to these girls for no reason. And he actually calls them out on their bullshit, just like he would call out guys. This is harder said than done, but you need to see some guys navigate their relations with women, but not in like a nice guy, modern dynamic kind of way. And this is hard because the majority of relationships that you see of the guys that you see who are dating girls, the majority of guys are quite like nice guys. Like they might be attractive, they might get girls, but a lot of guys are quite like weak, feminine, submissive, docile. You know, like the, the kind of guys who would never even call a girl out if she does something wrong. And I have some more extremely controversial advice, but this is what worked for me. I kind of think that a certain amount of guys need to just transition 
transition from being a nice guy, you know, overly nice, to actually going through a phase of being overly hostile and hateful towards women to eventually get closer to being like Adonis. Some guys can avoid that sort of hating women phase and they can just go from being like a nice guy, you know, who's overly nice and everything to just acting more like Adonis, being like a gentleman who's warm but also respects himself. Some guys can escape this middle period, but some guys have to go through a period from being nice to then being kind of like negative towards women. And I honestly had to do this. This is probably stuff you've never heard of before, someone openly admitting this, but I had to go through a phase of almost like hating women and you're thinking kind of negative thoughts like, yeah, that stupid bitch. And yeah, these bitches are so stupid. You know, all this kind of negative thought, which is so toxic, man. But I had to go through that to get to where I am now. I had to. This is what the modern world really doesn't want you to experience. But the thing is, if you've been sold this lie that you should be this nice little good boy and you've fallen for this lie, you need to go through some level of like aggression to get pissed off at the world and pissed off at women for like thinking that you've fallen for this lie. And of course, don't do that in some kind of like violent way. Don't do that in a way that will insult or disrespect anyone. But you might find some progress in almost turning on your male aggression and having a sense of hatred against the world and sometimes against women to think like, yeah, like I've been sold this lie. Like women aren't even that great anyway. I've put them on such a high pedestal. They're not even that special they're just human beings and you almost have like this energy of hatred that eventually leaves you because you're finally acting like a fucking man with anger and aggression which is normal for men and then it's almost like you're left with nothing but like just positive feelings about women some guys need to go through that transition and i did that being said that i want to remind you to put in so much intention to make sure that you don't get stuck in either of these sections don't get stuck just being nice for no reasons especially to women who don't deserve it and don't get stuck in this sort of like hateful phase where you kind of hate the world for lying to you because so many guys especially the guys that you see on youtube are stuck here and they are lesser men. Transition as fast as you can over to where Adonis is, where you begin to just see women for what they are, people. You take women off this pedestal which you've put them on and you realize that, you know, if a girl does something to piss you off, you'll respond in the exact same way that you would if a guy did. You'd respond to a girl that you're dating if she turned up late to a date in the same way that you would if your male friend did. You'd show a girl with a certain kind of characteristics and hobbies and traits the same level of interest that you would in a guy. And this is a very interesting transition because you start to realize like how much you've put women in a pedestal and that's why you've been so nice because you value like girls so highly and then one day you kind of click and you're like, wait, the girl I'm interested in is a loser. I wouldn't be friends with a guy if he was like that. Like all she does is just scroll on TikTok. That's fucking, that's repulsive. Why am I being so nice to her? Why am I like paying for shit? Like she's not a nice girl to be around. She's not even like polite or anything. You need to stop giving points of admiration to someone who's a low quality person and start to respect yourself enough to think that you don't need to present this like fake, positive, you know, really happy, nice attitude to people who don't really deserve it. Most importantly, you need permission for this because if you had like a strong masculine father figure, you would have seen him and imitated the way Way that he navigated his relationship with your loving feminine mother. But the majority of us haven't had that kind of parental dynamic that we've been able to observe. So we've never really been able to learn about the correct sort of relationship dynamic. And it's such a shame that you didn't get to benefit from that because if you did see like a positively loving, strong, masculine father figure, you would have seen him respect himself and not be overly nice to people who didn't deserve that. What you see before you is an absolutely massive movement of young men who are taking self-improvement seriously. We didn't start off in the best place with the best parents or the best genetics, but we're doing the best that we can with the things that we can improve in our lives. And our relationships with women is a big part of that. You can join this movement of men who are relentlessly improving themselves and we'll be happy to have you. Scroll down right now and click on the subscribe button and also click and watch this video right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.